Well, that's a super volcano that is a continent killer, and it blows every six to eight hundred thousand years, and everyone dies. Yellowstone National Park is alive with the rumble of countless earthquakes, igniting worldwide fear and fascination. Beneath its stunning vistas lies a massive and dormant threat, one of the planet's largest active volcanoes. The recent surge in seismic activity has left people around the world pondering when this enormous force will unleash its fury. As a result, the renowned geysers and wildlife of Yellowstone are overshadowed by the looming specter of disaster, challenging the essence of the park. Join us as we venture into the heart of Yellowstone, where mystery and adventure collide. What lies beneath the Yellowstone? In the very beginning of the tourist season, there's already been a handful of troubling moments between the people visiting Yellowstone National Park and the local wildlife. Underneath the calm and lovely views of the park, there have been numerous small, yet strong, underground movements or shakes. This peaceful and beautiful park, well-loved for its breathtaking views and variety of animals, is actually sitting in an area where there's a lot of underground movement happening. Recently, there have been some earthquakes in the area. These aren't just random events. They are part of the bigger story of what's happening beneath the ground of Yellowstone. These shakes, make us wonder about the secrets hidden deep under the park's surface. Is there an entire world of underground activity that we haven't yet explored? Let's dive deeper into this mystery. Recently, there has been a noticeable uptick in the number of shakes and quakes happening in Yellowstone National Park. This has made many people stand up and take notice. Scientists from all around the globe, as well as everyday people, have become very interested in these developments. As the shaking becomes more frequent and earthquakes disturb the tranquil natural beauty, people are starting to ask if maybe a volcano could erupt soon. The sight of the ground shaking, together with the ongoing concern about the park's huge sleeping volcano, has sparked a wave of curiosity and concern. People everywhere are keen to uncover what lies beneath the attractive landscape of Yellowstone, but let's take a step back to see the larger context. Yellowstone National Park is an incredibly vast and beautiful area stretching across parts of Montana and Idaho. It's like a massive open-air museum filled with natural wonders. The park covers over 2.2 million acres, a vast space that's home to a wide variety of plants and wildlife. Visitors to the park can see well-known animals like grizzly bears, wolves, bison, and elk in their natural habitats. However, what really sets Yellowstone apart are its geological features, which are unlike anything else in the world. These features include the famous geysers, and hot springs, which are natural fountains of water and steam shooting out of the ground. These are not just pretty sights, they are windows into the Earth's heat and energy below the surface. Yellowstone's unique landscape is the result of millions of years of geological processes, including volcanic activity. The park actually sits on top of a massive volcano, which is why there are so many geysers and hot springs there. Besides its geothermal wonders, Yellowstone is also home to breathtaking canyons, rivers, and lush forests. The Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, for example, is a stunning, deep canyon carved by the Yellowstone River. The park's forests are home to towering trees and provide shelter for many of the park's animals. Furthermore, Yellowstone's wildlife is as varied as its landscape. The park serves as a sanctuary for many animals that are rare or endangered elsewhere. In addition to the grizzly bears, wolves, bison, and elk, the park is home to many other species, including eagles, coyotes, and moose. Observing these animals in their natural environment is one of the main attractions for the millions of visitors who come to Yellowstone each year. Right below the quiet and beautiful landscape of the park lies one of the biggest active volcano systems in the world. The ground in Yellowstone is much thinner than in most places. This means that the hot liquid rock from deep inside the earth, called magma, can get closer to the surface here. This special underground setup has led to the creation of many amazing things to see like geysers, hot water springs, mud pools, and steam vents. One of these is the famous geyser known as Old Faithful because it erupts regularly. In Yellowstone, there are more than 300 active geysers, which is more than you can find in any other single place in the world. This shows how full of geothermal heat from the earth energy Yellowstone is, but the most amazing part of what's under Yellowstone 
is the huge sleeping volcano or supervolcano that lies beneath it. A supervolcano is way stronger than a normal volcano. Its eruptions are more than a thousand times bigger. The last time the Yellowstone supervolcano erupted was about 640,000 years ago. This eruption was so huge that it left behind a big hollow space known as the Yellowstone caldera. This big dip in the land is like a scar from that ancient explosion, a reminder of the powerful natural events that have shaped this area. Though we think of geysers and hot springs as beautiful sites, they're also signs of the potential dangers from the Earth's power beneath. But hold on, the story gets even more interesting from here. Yellowstone was made into the first national park in the world back in 1872. This started a whole new way of protecting and enjoying natural places all around the globe. People love Yellowstone for its stunning views, lots of animals, and interesting underground features. It's a place where you can watch a beautiful sunset in the Lamar Valley and think about the huge natural powers that are just below the surface where you stand. But there's more to Yellowstone than just its beautiful nature. It also has a deep history that goes back over 11,000 years. Several Native American tribes, including the Shoshone, Blackfeet, and Crow, have lived in this area for hundreds of years. Their history is deeply tied to this land. The cultural story of Yellowstone grew even more when European explorers, animal fur hunters, and early settlers came in the 1800s. You can still see the marks they left in old buildings, like the Old Faithful Inn. Yellowstone isn't just a park. It's a place where you can see the power of the earth up close, where you can walk through history, and where you can understand how people have lived with and been amazed by nature for thousands of years. From its hot boiling waters, shooting out of the ground, to its big open skies, Yellowstone is a place of discovery, and wonder. Whether it's the ancient stories of the people who've lived there or the modern-day adventurers who visit, Yellowstone has layers of stories just waiting to be explored. Now, let's dive even deeper into Yellowstone's heart, where strange and beautiful natural wonders come together in a surprising dance, the seismic waves of the Yellowstone. Keeping Yellowstone's unique animals, plants, and special underground features safe for kids and grandkids is very important. The park works hard to keep a good balance between people visiting and nature staying healthy. They have lots of plans to make sure all the different living things and the special rocks and ground features stay safe. But hold on tight, we're about to learn something exciting about how the ground shakes and moves in Yellowstone. To get why the ground shakes and moves here, we need to start with what causes earthquakes. Imagine the earth is covered with big pieces that fit together like a giant jigsaw puzzle. These pieces are called tectonic plates. Now these big puzzle pieces move around very slowly. When they move, they can push the land up to make mountains, pull it apart to make deep valleys, or slide past each other. When they move a lot, we get earthquakes. The thing that shakes the ground in Yellowstone a lot is something called a volcano. Volcanoes are not all the same. They can look like big hills or huge mountains, and they can be found all over the world. Some are under the sea, making long mountain chains, and others are on land making giant mountains. There are about 1,900 volcanoes on Earth that could wake up and erupt. Then, there are sleeping volcanoes that seem quiet now, but they might wake up one day too. Volcanoes are like giant powerhouses. When they erupt, they can make new land, but can also break and burn things down. Imagine this, about 350 million people live where they could be in danger if a nearby volcano erupts. That's like if every person in a big country lived near a volcano. Scientists who study volcanoes, called volcanologists, watch these volcanoes very closely. They try to guess when a volcano might erupt next, so they can warn people living nearby. They want to make sure everyone is safe from dangerous ash clouds, lava, and other scary things that come out of volcanoes. Now back to Yellowstone. This park is so special because it's sitting on top of a huge sleeping volcano. This is why we have all those amazing hot springs and geysers, like Old Faithful. The ground moving and shaking are signs that the earth is alive and active under Yellowstone. But don't worry, the people who work at the park and scientists are always keeping an eye on these shakes and rumbles to keep everyone safe. Earthquakes mostly happen near the edges of big pieces of the Earth's crust, called plates. These plates slowly move and sometimes push against each other. When they push a lot, stress builds up. If this stress gets too high, the ground can suddenly break or shift. This is when we feel the ground shake. This shaking is caused by waves of energy coming out from where the break happened. 
Even though earthquakes can show us interesting things about the ground beneath us, they are more common near the edges of these plates. Yellowstone National Park is a special place because it has lots of earthquakes even though it's not right on the edge of one of these big plates. The reason for this is something called a supervolcano, or more simply, a really big volcano that's under the ground. Underneath the supervolcano is a hot spot. Think of a hot spot like a big, super hot bubble coming up from deep inside the earth. This bubble is so hot that it melts rock. In Yellowstone, this hot bubble makes the ground shake and also causes volcanoes and geysers like the famous Old Faithful geyser to erupt. Some people might think that these shaking and eruptions mean something very bad is going to happen. But really, these are natural events that the Earth has been doing for a very long time. It's important to know that not every earthquake is the same. They can happen more often or less often, be stronger or weaker, and start deeper or closer to the Earth's surface. Scientists use different ways to learn about earthquakes. One way is the Richter scale, which tells us how strong an earthquake is. Another way is the modified Mercalli scale, which tells us how much shaking people feel and how much damage there is in different places. Yellowstone Park is a place with lots of small earthquakes every year, somewhere between 700 and 3,000. Most of these are so small that people don't feel them. These small shakes are caused by the hot and moving stuff under the ground. Even though we can't feel them, these small earthquakes are still important. They help scientists understand what's happening deep under the ground in Yellowstone. They also help keep the park's famous geysers going. Each little shake might be a part of what makes Old Faithful erupt at regular times. So these shakes are not just signs of the ground being angry, but are part of what makes Yellowstone such a special and interesting place to visit. The ground under Yellowstone is shaking more these days. Let's explore what these stronger shakes could mean for the park's future and for all of us. The earthquake swarms in Yellowstone. Sometimes, Yellowstone experiences something a bit different from its normal shaking. This is called an earthquake swarm. An earthquake swarm is like a series of small earth shakes that happen one after another very quickly. They all start from the same spot. Unlike the big earthquakes we might hear about on the news, where there's one big shake followed by smaller shakes, in a swarm, all the shakes are about the same size. When this happens, it can make people worried and talk a lot because they wonder if it might mean a volcano could erupt soon. In Yellowstone, these swarms are part of a big mix of things happening under the ground. There's a lot going on down there. The Earth's crust, which is like the Earth's outer skin, is moving. Hot molten rock called magma is pushing up, and all sorts of hot water features like geysers and hot springs are doing their thing. Recently, there's been a series of these swarms shaking up the ground under the park for several months. This has made the ground feel like it's dancing to a strange beat. Are you curious about what all this shaking means? Keep following along. You might wonder, does this mean a big volcano will explode soon? It's really important to know that even though these swarms of little shakes can seem scary, they're actually pretty normal for Yellowstone. This isn't the first time this has happened. And in the past, these swarms didn't lead to any big volcanic explosions. But what do all these shakes mean? Well, that's where Earth scientists, like geologists and seismologists, come in. They're like detectives for the Earth. Using some really cool tools and machines, these experts keep an eye on the shakes, trying to figure out what they're telling us. These scientists use their equipment to listen to the shakes, the seismic waves that travel through the ground. These waves are super interesting, because they can move slower, faster, or even change direction when they bump into different stuff underground, like pools of magma or different types of rock. This helps scientists see what's under the surface without digging. It's like using x-rays to look inside the Earth. By studying how these waves move, scientists can learn a lot about what's going on beneath Yellowstone. They're looking for clues about whether there's more magma moving around than usual, or if it's just the Earth doing its normal thing. So while it might seem alarming to hear about all these small earthquakes happening one after another, it's all part of Yellowstone's natural behavior. These little shakes help keep the park's famous geysers spraying and tell scientists a lot about what's happening under our feet. But don't worry, the Earth's detectives are on the case. 
making sure they understand every rumble and tremor. By keeping track of all this shaking, they help keep us informed and safe, letting us enjoy the natural wonders of Yellowstone with a bit more peace of mind. So, while the ground might be dancing to its own beat, there's a whole team working hard to make sense of the music. While we often think of earthquakes as bringing destruction, it's important to see them in a different light, especially when it comes to Yellowstone National Park. In this unique spot on the Earth, small ground shakes happen pretty often. These aren't just random jolts. They're like messages from deep underground. By paying close attention to these messages, which come in the form of seismic waves created by the quakes, smart folks called researchers have uncovered something incredible. There's a huge pool of melted rock called magma way beneath the park. This isn't just your everyday discovery. There's a big magma chamber that we already knew about, but now they found an even bigger one deeper down. This wasn't some lucky guess. They figured it all out by studying the way earthquake waves move through the ground. Now, earthquakes might make a lot of us nervous, especially in a place like Yellowstone with its giant sleeping volcano. But here's the thing. Even with all these little quakes happening one after another, something experts call a seismic swarm, there hasn't been any big scary change deep under the park. Scientists keep an eye on two big things to see if the supervolcano is waking up whether there's a bunch of new magma filling up the big underground reservoirs, and whether the ground above is starting to puff up like a balloon. So far, neither of these things is happening. Instead, these shakes seem to be just the regular business of Yellowstone, with its hot springs and geysers and all that, adjusting to shifts inside the earth. But, okay, just because we're not heading for a big eruption doesn't mean these swarms of quakes aren't interesting. In fact, they're like a super cool puzzle for scientists. Each little rumble gives them clues about what's going on under the surface of one of the hottest spots on the planet, not just in temperature, but in geological action too. Think of it like nature's way of giving scientists a treasure map to figure out the secrets of Yellowstone's underground world. Now, about that big worry that a super explosion could happen any minute. Let's take a deep breath. From what we know now, a massive eruption like that isn't something we expect to see in our lifetimes. When we look back over the long, long history of Yellowstone, we see that the huge eruptions, the kind that form calderas, which are sort of giant volcanic craters, don't happen all that often. We're talking about intervals of many hundreds of thousands of years. Plus, most of the recent volcanic stuff in Yellowstone isn't about fireworks and ash clouds. It's more about lava oozing out slowly, not much different from what you might see in a place like Hawaii, just a lot cooler in temperature. Next, we're going to look at how the people who watch over Yellowstone work hard to keep us safe while figuring out the puzzles of this trembling land. Yellowstone's watchers, the epic scientists. When scientists look into the shakes and rumbles under Yellowstone, they find something interesting. Most of these Earth movements aren't about the big, scary supervolcano like many people might think. Instead, they're usually caused by water stuff, the same natural plumbing that powers the park's famous geysers and steaming hot springs. So when there's a bunch of shaking going on, it often means there are changes happening in these water systems underground. Not that a huge volcano is about to blow its top, but just because we're not on the edge of a volcanic apocalypse doesn't mean everything's totally safe all the time. Yellowstone is still a wild and natural place, and it has its own set of dangers. Even though they're not as headline-grabbing as a supervolcano, smaller volcanic eruptions can still happen. There are also sudden bursts from geysers or hot springs, known as hydrothermal explosions, which can throw boiling water and rocks into the air. Then there's the risk of landslides, where big chunks of earth and rock slide down a hill or mountain. And of course, there are the regular old earthquakes that can shake things up without any warning. So is it like living on a ticking time bomb? Are these shakes a sneak peek of something much bigger and more dangerous? Stick around and we'll dig deeper into these questions. Now, you might be wondering, with all this going on, how do people take care of a place as special as Yellowstone? Well, it's all thanks to a team of Earth science superheroes. These are the geoscientists and park officials who dedicate their lives to understanding and protecting Yellowstone's unique landscape. But they're not just standing around looking at rocks and water, they're using some pretty cool gadgets and brain power to keep track of everything that's happening. These folks set up special tools called seismographs all around the park. Seismographs are like the Earth's heartbeat monitors. They pick up even the smallest shakes 
and help scientists figure out where they're coming from and why they're happening. There are also GPS stations spread out over the area. These aren't for finding the nearest coffee shop. They're for measuring how the ground itself is moving, which can tell scientists a lot about what's happening deep underground. But that's not all. They also keep an eye on the air, testing for different kinds of gases coming out of the ground. Changes in these gases can give clues about changes deep inside the Earth. And of course, they're always watching the park's famous geysers and hot springs. By keeping track of how often the geysers erupt and how hot the springs are, they can learn about changes in the underground plumbing that feeds them. The people who study the rocks and natural processes in Yellowstone, called geoscientists, along with the officials who run the park, have a big job. They use their deep understanding of the Earth to piece together the story of Yellowstone's complex underground world. But their work doesn't stop with just studying rocks and earthquakes. They also take on the important task of teaching all of us about what they find. They turn hard to understand Earth science stuff into facts that everyone can grasp. They share updates on what's happening beneath the ground, clear up wrong ideas, and respond to people's worries. This way, everyone who visits Yellowstone gets the real story on what's going on with the ground beneath their feet. These experts aren't just sitting in a lab. They're out in the field, keeping everyone safe and making sure we all respect the amazing natural features of the park. The officials who help run Yellowstone are super important too. They look after the park's environment, make sure visitors are safe, and support the scientists doing research. They're always watching how the park's scenery changes, telling the scientists about these changes, and putting in place safety actions like closing parts of the park if it gets too risky. They also spend time teaching visitors about the natural dangers in the park. But here's the thing, these scientists and park officials can't do their jobs alone. They need help from everyone who visits, lives nearby, or cares about the park from afar. When we all follow the rules, help with science projects, and share correct information, we become part of the team working to keep Yellowstone's unique landscape safe and understood for people in the future. This ongoing dance of Earth movements beneath Yellowstone is like a reminder from our planet. It tells us to pay attention to the amazing and powerful natural forces around us. The rumbling beneath Yellowstone invites us to explore, to learn, and to help look after our world. By understanding what's happening, we can better look after the park's natural treasures, keep people safe from natural dangers, and make sure this incredible place is preserved for many years to come. Let's dive even deeper into this fascinating story. Recently, there's been a lot of talk about a bunch of earthquakes happening all at once in Yellowstone. This event, known as a seismic swarm, has made a lot of people sit up and take notice, both regular folks and scientists alike. While it's definitely something to watch, it's not a brand new phenomenon for the park. These swarms have happened before, and they didn't lead to giant volcanic explosions. Understanding this can help us stay calm and focused on learning more about these natural events instead of jumping to scary conclusions. By approaching these earth shakes with a clear mind and scientific thinking, we can better understand what they mean and how they fit into the bigger picture of Yellowstone's geology. We're about to reach a new point of our journey through Yellowstone, a place where peace and sudden shakes are part of the same story. Let's find out what keeps this balance. Life surrounding Yellowstone's massive geysers and quakes. When we hear about the ground shaking in Yellowstone, it's easy to let our imaginations run wild with images of a huge, catastrophic volcano eruption. But it's really important not to jump to scary conclusions too fast. Even though the recent bunch of small quakes, or the seismic swarm, might seem alarming, it doesn't mean that there's a big change happening deep beneath the park where the magma is. Magma is just melted rock, and it's what you find in a volcano. Scientists and experts who study earthquakes are keeping a very close watch on all the shaking. They look at how the ground moves, what gases are coming out, and how often the ground is shaking. So far, they haven't found any signs that a big volcano eruption is coming soon. Now, while it's true we can't say for sure that there will never be a big eruption, right now, all signs suggest it's not something we need to worry about in the near future. Yellowstone has had long, quiet periods without any huge eruptions. And when there have been eruptions over the last thousands of years, they haven't been the super explosive kind. This history helps scientists think that a really big eruption isn't likely to happen anytime soon. But what about all the shaking that's been happening recently? 
Most of it has to do with the park's natural hot water features like geysers and hot springs, not with the magma moving around underneath. These hot water features are part of what's called hydrothermal systems. These systems work like a giant underground tea kettle, where water gets heated up by the Earth's warmth and causes natural features like Old Faithful. Sometimes, when there's a change in these water systems, it can make the ground shake a bit. This is probably what's happening with the recent shakes. These shakes are just the park's way of adjusting to changes underground and don't mean a big eruption is coming. But even though we're not expecting a big volcanic blast, there are still dangers in Yellowstone. There can be smaller volcanic eruptions, sudden steam explosions, landslides, or even more earthquakes. These things can be dangerous if you're right nearby when they happen. Understanding and responding to the natural hazards in Yellowstone National Park requires constant vigilance. It's very important that we keep a close eye on the various dangers to make sure everyone who visits the park can do so safely without harming the natural balance of this special place. We share Yellowstone with its geysers, hot springs, and occasional shakes and rumbles, so we need to be careful to live alongside these natural processes without getting in their way. To deal with these risks properly, Yellowstone has a strong system set up for monitoring what's happening in the park. This isn't something done by just one person or even one team. It's a big effort that involves lots of experts. Geoscientists are the earth detectives who study rocks and ground movements. Park officials are the guardians of the park, making sure it's safe and protected. And there are many other scientists from all over the world who also help out. They all work together, sharing what they find to get a full picture of Yellowstone's complex underground world. These experts use some really advanced tools to keep an eye on the park. Seismographs are machines that record every little shake of the earth, helping to spot patterns or signs of bigger quakes. GPS stations track even tiny movements of the ground that we couldn't feel or see otherwise. Gas analyzers sniff out gases coming from underground, which can tell scientists a lot about what's happening deep beneath the surface. And thermal imaging cameras let us see heat patterns, which is especially useful for understanding the park's famous geysers and hot springs. With all this high-tech equipment and their own expert knowledge, the people studying Yellowstone can give early warnings if something big is about to happen, like a volcanic eruption or a big change in the hot springs. This information is not just for them. It's also shared with all of us who visit or care about the park. In Yellowstone National Park, we're all part of a big team. This isn't just about the scientists or the rangers. It's about everyone who visits, lives nearby, or just loves this incredible place from afar. By understanding more about the park and how we can all help look after it, we become responsible visitors and caretakers of this amazing natural space. But caring for Yellowstone isn't just about what happens inside the park. It's much bigger than that. The challenges that come with keeping a place like Yellowstone safe and preserved don't stop at the park's borders. They stretch out into the nearby towns, across states, and even around the world. This is why working together, not just inside the park, but with people and groups from all over, is so important. Local communities, states nearby, and even international organizations have a part to play. By joining hands, sharing what we know, and helping each other, we can come up with better ways to look after the park. This team effort helps us learn more, manage risks wisely, and take care of this important piece of Earth. Is Yellowstone's supervolcano a ticking time bomb set to alter our world, or simply nature's way of reminding us of her power? Share your thoughts, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more.